Uh, right, staying historical, there is a Flames of War slow grow league kicking off. Ben, what's happening with this? Yeah, sure. So we uh, talked about this a little bit in uh, previous weekends and stuff, but it's all in full swing now. So the guys yeah. over at Battlefront and us have been sort of joining forces in a way to put together this slow grow league of Flames of War where you start off with a smaller force and start to add to it week by week until you create a larger force by the end of September ahead of our grand campaign that's going to be kicking off later in the year as well, which is sort of pretty cool. Uh, we've actually got a uh, area over on, on tabletop.com, which is our project system where a lot of people have been feeding into it and sort of showing off what they've been doing so far. So as you can see, there's a couple of projects in there at the moment where people are building up their forces a lot of them from the hit the beach set which was the big sort of new core box for late war which is pretty cool uh, but yeah if you're getting involved with this make sure to head on over to the project section get some stuff in there about what you're doing and all that kind of thing as well and hopefully we'll have some chats with battlefront in the future so sort of talking about how things are going when it comes to the uh, slogo league ahead of that campaign later on in the year as well Mm -hmm. so, yeah. uh, the other thing to keep an eye on with the guys from Flames of War is they're actually doing a tale of four gamers as well, yes. which is yes. four yeah. of their main guys actually just jumping in and saying, look, we want to build armies, we want to be playing ourselves, which is quite cool. Yeah, although they are doing that over four years rather than three months for the yeah. slow growth. Yeah. yeah, there's yeah. a so, bit of a shift there. Just, just having a scroll through Robert's. Ro <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dear yeah, God, just... Robert's gone into some detail there for yeah. his Northern Irish horse. Um, yeah, it's been really it's been really cool to see what people have been doing with this because a lot of people have just been you know showing off their sort of painting and building in their models and that kind of thing, which is cool. But then a lot of other people have delved into the historical side of it as well and trying to find all the patterns and things that they mm -hmm. need for the camouflage on their troops and on their tanks and all that kind of thing as well, which I thought was really cool. Yeah, yeah. You see, it's it's one of two ways that I generally see people going with historical gaming. They either dive right into it, find a very very particular sort of wedge in the history that they want to explore, research, build, and paint. Or you're so, you've got someone like me who's more like film sim. They just want to do something a bit more Hollywood. Mm. Yes, these mm. are my, my Germans. They are painted up. I know the colors are wrong. I know it's not historically accurate, but I just want to play the game and have fun. So it's nice that you have both of that happening yeah. in this. Yeah. So just 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 those people out there that maybe don't know what a slow go league yeah. is as well. It's it's very much focused around the idea of you starting off with something very small and slowly but surely growing it over a couple of months. Mm -hmm. So there's targets that you'll normally be asked to hit sort of every couple mm -hmm. of weeks. Maybe it'll be to paint a particular unit. Maybe it'll be to paint a, a larger platoon or something like that. And you'll get points usually with your group and maybe with clubs and that kind of thing where you're building up towards a certain thing based on the painting style and the games that you play as well like that. So it's all about telling a story, building a narrative, and a little bit of character force with a group of friends mm -hmm. so that you can all sort of help each other out. So, yeah. Yeah. so for the Slow Grow League that uh, we're doing here and that uh, Flames of War and Battlefront are running, it's 50 points for the first yeah. month. So by the end of August, um, or sorry, by the end of July, early August, you should have 50 points done, which is the, the sort of the core of your, your force. So built, painted, yeah? Built and painted, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then there's going to be a set of scenarios going up on Battlefront's website. Um, so you can play like a little mini 50-point tournament with your mm -hmm. friends. Then end of August, um, you should have 25 points done and dusted and added to that. Mm -hmm. uh, there'll be another set of scenarios and objectives, I think, uh, being released at that time. And then another 25 points for the end of September. Mm -hmm. So that's your three months done. By the end of it, you've got a 100-point force. Mm -hmm. And then in October... If you need a bit of tidying up to do whatever, um, there'll be the global cam campaign that we're running mm -hmm. in conjunction with Battlefront. Yep. So that's that's the idea for this one, that 50, 25, 25, mm -hmm. bush, three months, you're, yep. you've got a full army that you can kick on with then and get involved in the campaign. See, I, I do like the, the way that your major block of work is right at the start and then you've got yeah. like two smaller sets of work that you can just, you can hammer out pretty quickly depending on what you're doing. Yeah. And then you can maybe actually revisit the stuff you've already done to sort of tidy it up and bring it up to spec. Yeah. Well, some people had already started because they announced it in June, mm -hmm. even though the official start wasn't until July. So because yeah. you had more to build and more to work on, mm -hmm. it gave you two months rather than one. Um, yeah. For for here, I'm doing the Studio Americans and I've actually started on it, but I started on it before I went on holidays. And then when I came back from holidays, I'm re unpacked my case, yeah. dumped it on the floor, filled it up with new stuff and went immediately to America. Yeah. So I've missed the first two weeks of July. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, at the end of this week, I'll actually put my blog live uh, on the project system and you'll be able to follow awesome. along with what the Americans are going to be for the studio yeah. in there. 